So my typical day starts with, actually usually when I wake up, I check my phone and I look at my email because I work in California, but a lot of the people that I work for work in Michigan and in Boston or in Japan. So a lot of emails have come in while I've been sleeping. So I see what my day is going to look like uh, by looking at some of the email and looking at my calendar again. Um, I also take the time to make sure I look at the news because I really want to find time for that every day to make sure I'm engaged and knowing what's going on in the world. And I get up, I always eat breakfast. I love to have my breakfast. And then I have a short commute, fortunately, and I come to work. I work in a pretty amazing uh, office. We have a very, I think, probably typical Silicon Valley vibe, but it's something I've, it's new to me in my career. So we have free food everywhere, lots of snacks and healthy food that we can pick from. Um, but what's really fun and different about my office space is we have robots in the workplace. So when I go to the kitchen to get my cup of coffee in the morning, I may have to walk past and reach around a robot that's working on how does it take something in and out of the cabinet. Um, so that always, uh, frankly, always brings a smile to my face when I'm walking around the office. I spend a lot of my time in meetings. Uh, a lot of what I do in my job is uh, make sure that I'm connecting people across the company, and that requires that I uh, spend a lot of time listening and talking to people. At our company, because we have employees across the country, we use video calls all day long. And it's really interesting to me um, how we can keep people connected, even if they work remotely, if they're working from home, if they're on travel and they're in different offices, just using video calls and collaboration tools. And so it really gives me a sense that I can then work from wherever I'm traveling, which is good because I travel a lot. For example, we have an office in Ann Arbor, Michigan. And when I go to that office, I might have an opportunity to go out on the test track and you know, ride in one of the test cars and see how our automated driving and safety is performing in the cars. When I go to our office in Cambridge, we have a really beautiful robotics lab there. And I can walk through the robotics lab and see what latest research and development is going on with the scientists there. And it's always interesting. My favorite part of the day is just walking around and stopping and asking somebody, what is the problem they're working on? And what is that robot that I'm looking at doing right now? It's really interesting. Toyota Research Institute is part of Toyota. Toyota is headquartered in Japan. And so I do spend a lot of time in Japan, um, which I love because I've lived in Japan in the past and a lot of my career has been working with Japan. So I um, would say several times a year, I go to Japan and um, go to meetings with Toyota counterparts and others in to Tokyo, which is the capital, as well as where our headquarters is, which is in Toyota City. One of the other things that's great about traveling to Japan is I speak some Japanese, and so I get a chance to really immerse myself in the language and hear the language and um, improve my own Japanese.